Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I cannot wait to share with you a fall decorate with me in my kitchen and dining room. We're gonna do some baking, some Dollar Tree DIYs, as well as some thrift store makeovers and my little thrift store outfit of the day. So this is episode 28 in my I Love Fall series. If you guys need some fall decorating inspiration, as well as budget-friendly DIYs, some baking, some cleaning, definitely click on the playlist down below. I'm gonna link it for you guys guys. It will take you back through all of the fall episodes. You guys, I love to share with you all how you can make your homes absolutely gorgeous, fabulous on a teeny tiny budget. So also I was thinking about why fall is so special to me. I was born in October. My middle name is Autumn. I got married in October as well. But more than anything, it is just a time where friends and family gather together. So I want to tell you guys a little bit of my story as I go along through this decorating and baking video. So without Without further ado, let's jump into it. To begin my fall decorating, I took everything out of my kitchen and then I laid out some of the dishes and the fall decor that I want to play with. I really wish you guys were here to help me. It would be so fun to actually have your input here. Okay, you guys, I love to decorate with fresh mums, even inside of my home. Now, this is just a $4 mum that I picked up from Walmart. I set it in this little apple basket. It's not quite, the apple basket isn't quite big enough, so I'm actually going to wrap a bit of fabric around it, and then I think it's gonna go up here. I thought that would be super cute. So I'm just gonna take this cute little placemat and kind of wrap it around. So if you guys can see, that's just gonna kind of dress that up just a little bit more. Now I'm just gonna add a little basket of pumpkins. This is actually um, a white dish. It has sentimental value, it's a family heirloom. So I just added a couple of Dollar Tree pumpkins and this cute little fluffy DIY pumpkin that I made last year. And that's gonna go right over here. And then my son helped me find this little pumpkin pie Betty Crocker plate. So I'm gonna put this off to the side over here. And then I do actually use this cabinet on a daily basis, so I definitely want to go ahead and set my dinnerware out here. a rather small kitchen it can be a bit of a tricky space to decorate and also I'm a busy mom I have kiddos and so we're cleaning and cooking and doing all of that stuff in my kitchen so I really want it to be functional I want to decorate it without it feeling over cluttered I also want to keep it nice and clean so for this decor I'm gonna choose a lot of black and white I also have an air conditioning unit in my kitchen it's what cools my kitchen and my living room and so this is a a huge challenge for me and so I wanted to create a window that would kind of frame out that air conditioning unit so it's functional but so it would also be cute because there's a really unsightly cord that runs from the air conditioning unit over to the outlet and so I'm going to share with you guys how I created a no sew curtain um, so for this to create this no sew curtain DIY, I'm using Mr. Romantic's ruler and I'm drawing a large line down the entire piece of fabric. And I wanted to make sure it was a straight line. And then I'm just gonna hot glue and basically create a tab that the little curtain can slide onto the rod. And then I'm cutting it in half because I wanted to create two panels. Now, I found this fabric at burletfabric.com. I will leave a coupon code below for you guys if you guys like pretty fabrics or burlet that material. Now I'm just hanging the curtain and then I found this cute little buffalo check plaid curtain valance that I wanted to hang over it. I thought it came out so perfect and it's really going to hide those unsightly cords and little spots on either side of the air conditioning that I definitely wanted to conceal. 
For the next DIY, I'm going to transform this cute little rooster. It's a French rooster. I actually love the picture. I found it at Goodwill for $2, but I want to transform the frame, so I'm going to take it out of its frame and give it a nice fresh coat of white. I love the 2X Rust-Oleum paint and primer together. I'm using a flat white because I want it to have kind of that farmhouse chic appearance. And you can see I'm also spraying my little outlet covers that go on my kitchen to kind of make them uniform with what I have going on. Mr. Romantic also helped me paint my kitchen. It's kind of a white cream color. Now I'm just taking one of those Dollar Tree Thankful and Blessed signs and I'm going to take this really cute piece of ribbon. Again, it's that striped ribbon that I found at burlapfabric.com and I just got to run this through the back of the picture and loop it over to hang the Thankful and Blessed sign. Now I wanted to remain the integrity of the French Rooster picture because after the fall holiday, I will still want my cute little rooster displayed, but I thought it'd be really cute to go ahead and add this thankful and blessed sign because this rooster sign is going to serve two purposes. It's going to cover the large cord and outlet that my air conditioner goes in, and it's also going to give me a cute little coffee bar vignette. I share with you guys always my little coffee in the morning, so I hope you guys have been loving that. I share it on my Instagram stories, and then I'm just trimming this off of of course, I had to leave a little bow. You guys know I love my bows. Now it's time for me to set up my little coffee bar area. I went ahead and hung my thankful and blessed sign. And then I'm just laying out this little stripe. It. It's kind of a gray and white stripe placemat. And then I want to go ahead and create a cute little easy DIY floral. I chalk painted these Dollar Tree Gerber daisies from the summertime. I even added some glam glitter. They're in one of my DIYs that we did at the beginning of this huge fall series, but I'm just popping them into this little vintage um, vase that a wonderful subscriber sent me. And then I did add in one little orange floral to the center of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and take some of these cute little Dollar Tree fall maple leaves, and I'm just going to place them on top of my little two-tiered stand. This I used just some vintage plates and I E6000 glued a Dollar Tree candlestick to the base and so I'm just adding some little leaves around the top of this and this is going to be kind of little fall vignette for where my candle is going to sit. I have a Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and cream candle and it is almost done. So that means I'm going to have to go shopping for some more candles. This has definitely been my favorite. It's also my kiddo's favorite as well. It just smells so delicious. It has a really strong chocolatey smell which you guys know I love. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in this little top Dollar Tree pumpkin. And I believe this one was from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I had these left over from last year. And then Dollar Tree is also carrying some really cute little table scatter. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. I'm going to use the little sparkling pumpkins and I just kind of add that in. And then the coffee maker is one that my pops got for me for last year for Christmas. I just use regular regular coffee. I would like to try a Keurig. You guys let me know if you have one and if you love it. Um, that might be something I put on my Santa wish list. But for now, this coffee maker is fine. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tidy this up. And then I also want to set out these cute little mugs that I found at the thrift store. They were only a dollar. I found them at the Goodwill um, last weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and set a couple of these out. Now, I was a little bit disappointed because I used one the other morning and the handle got really hot in the microwave but my new set that I got at the thrift store all of the white ones I was really excited because those microwave really well I like to have a nice hot cup of coffee so here are just some yummy um, praline wafers and um, the kiddos actually love these I'm doing keto so I'm not using a whole lot of the sugar in the morning but I am going to set these out for the kids and Mr. Romantic they do like to have a little sweet treat here and there
I am so loving my cozy little coffee bar station with the little cute wafers and the little vintage holder that I put them in, the sweet little mugs that I found at Goodwill, and then the lovely candle, the pop of flowers, my little thankful and blessed sign. And then I am so in love with these curtains, you guys. They cost next to nothing. All it took were those two panels, and it was basically just fabric. So definitely check your thrift stores. Go to burletfabric.com. You could check Walmart, grab some fabric, and then I just used a little placemat to drape over the front. And so here is kind of a sneak peek of this corner of my kitchen. Now I do not have to be embarrassed about sharing you guys the side of my kitchen. I've always been so embarrassed to be completely honest with you on sharing this side of my kitchen. Um, but now I feel free to share it and I think it looks lovely. You can see only that tiny bit of cord coming out, but I don't think that that's too bad. Um, now in the place not does have to come off during the day when I'm running my air conditioning. I'm thankful for my air. It keeps me and my family nice and cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish adding the dishes to my little vintage Hoosier cabinet. Again, these dishes I found at the thrift store. They're originally from JCPenney's and they're absolutely gorgeous. And I also found this really cute little plate stacker um, at the Goodwill as well. I went ahead and left it in the original black form. And then I also am adding in some of those cute cute little DIY pumpkins that we made a couple of DIYs back using some Dollar Tree scarves and Dollar Tree pumpkins. Now it's time to add some treats to my little cabinet. Now the oatmeal cream pies are from my son Max. He is a fanatic for oatmeal cream pies. He has to have one every day in his lunch. You guys comment and let me know if you're crazy over those as well. Or maybe what your favorite fall treat is snack wise. Maybe that you pack for your kids or your husband or just yourself. So here's that cute little pumpkin pie Betty Crocker um, cake plate and then the fresh mum. And those little um, fake pieces of pumpkin pumpkin pie we made in another DIY using Dollar Tree supplies. You guys are going to have to check out that huge fall list playlist that I shared with you guys. So many DIYs. And then I love the simplicity of all the white dishes and then the pop of the buffalo check plaid and then mixing that in with the little black and white dishes over here. And then some of these delicious carrot cake cupcakes, you guys. I'm going to be sharing those with you as well. So anyway, now we're going to do another DIY. I'm just going to spray a couple of those Dollar Tree 8x10 frames. And then these are just some candlesticks that, again, I found at the Goodwill. And I'm using that Dollar Tree kitchen measurement sign. I just took the base off of it. And then I went ahead and framed it. I thought it looked so cute. And that way I can get it up off my counter. And then this was another DIY I did with you guys a while back, but I did go ahead and spray the frame a matte white. Originally, I had distressed it, but I wanted these both to match and go on either side of the sink. So this is just a little pumpkin pie recipe that I printed off the internet. You guys just Google pumpkin pie recipes. It should pop up. And I did put some little buffalo check plaid um, paper back behind it. And so how cute are these you guys next to nothing again framing those Dollar Tree signs really kicks them up a notch and really jazzes them up I'm kind of loving that so I added that Dollar Tree thankful sign and then the cute little Dollar Tree blessed um, tiles and then I shared with you guys how to do this DIY burlap wreath in another video if you guys love to craft definitely, definitely go check that out for sure but I'm loving how my kitchen is coming out so far now I also found some really cute little Dollar Tree trick or treat towels and my absolute favorite Mrs. Myers cleaner right now. I get it off Grove Collaborative and it's the Acorn Spice. Oh my goodness, if you guys like um, a lovely scent with a caramel undertone, check that out. I'm going to leave a five-piece free gift set for you guys. Take advantage of it, definitely, and try some of those fun fall scents. So now it is time to make a delicious fall treat. I decided to make some carrot cake cupcakes for my kiddos. They love carrot cake. So you basically make the carrot cake cupcakes the same way that you would make um, a cake, but then you just divide them into the little cupcakes 
cake liners. So use the cake mix, three eggs. Um, I used butter for mine. I'm a butter girl. I love butter. You guys comment and let me know if you love butter too. And then the water, and then you're going to mix it together really well. Um, you're going to mix for about two minutes. And as I was preparing this, I realized I didn't have quite as many cupcake liners as I needed. So I decided to go ahead and split the cupcakes up in one pan and then just do a side cake in the other pan. Mr. Romantic really loves his cake. He's been asking for some recently and it's taken me a while to get around to it. And then there's my treat because I'm on keto. If you guys saw that, that was the Halo Top ice cream. It's really good if you're doing like a low carb or keto. So here's my cute little cupcakes after they're all finished. And do be careful because the cupcakes cook a lot quicker. I had the cupcakes and the cake in the oven, so the cupcakes cooked in about half the time. So definitely read your instructions for that, guys. Um, and then here it is. Oh my goodness, yummy. So delicious, hot. And I did have to go ahead and add that favorite bit of butter that I absolutely love. I used cream cheese icing to ice these, and the kiddos were just hopping right on them as soon as they hit the house after school today. So I did go ahead and add a little sprinkle of cinnamon to the top of this. I think I may have added a little bit too much. I don't know. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. So here is my kitchen all decorated. I even put a little cup hook in the wall and went ahead and hung my oven mitts. I thought that would be good because then I would have them right there when I grab them. It always seems like I don't have them out when I need them. And since fall is coming up and it's going to be lots of baking and goodies and treats, I also cook for my son's wrestling team so I definitely have to be ready to have my cook on for this season. The other thing I've been over the moon excited to share with you all is my new dining room tablescape. So there are those candlesticks that we sprayed white. And then burlapfabric.com sent me this beautiful table runner to share with you guys. They had to have the coolest stuff. And I went ahead and decorated the centerpiece with that lantern. I just put some cute little fairy lights in there. And then here's those little candles that I shared with you guys that I found at the thrift store. They're so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I was so excited to find those. They are battery operated and they do have a timer and then I went ahead and changed around um, my little area up above the table as well here I added in this family heirloom I've always been thinking about telling my story when I decorate so I grew up in Arkansas on 100 acres and I love this little bit of rustic because this is just part of my story as much as I love beautiful home decor I really still have a big place in my heart Heart for just those pops of rustic and especially during fall I feel like it's the perfect time for that and of course you guys I'm definitely going to be sharing with you my outfit of the day and more fall decor coming soon Okay, you guys, here is my thrift store outfit of the day. I found this cute little plaid top I thought it would be really great for the holidays and even kind of fall time. I usually don't wear a lot of red. I've been trying to make myself branch out a little bit. And then I just have them paired with these super comfy jeans. I found these at TJ Maxx um, a couple years ago and I've just worn them slap out. And then I have these paired with my sandals. These are just some Croc sandals. I do have some like these linked in my Amazon store. If you guys have any kind of feet problems or you just need some really comfy shoes, these are like lifesavers to me. Um, so anyway, there you guys have it. This is definitely mom work comfy. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for all of your kind love on my thrift store outfits of the day. Oh, and these cute little gold hoops. I also found it at the thrift store as well. So there you guys have it. Mom casual comfy thrift store outfit of the day. So thank you all so much for joining me on another DIY decorating adventure. You guys, I love to share with you guys how you can have a gorgeous, cozy, fabulous home on a teeny tiny budget. 
thank you all for everybody that comes back and likes, shares, and comments on my videos. You guys truly are rock stars. You mean the world to me, and I thank you for that. If you guys are new, I would love to have you be part of this fun and crazy DIY decorating, crafting, and baking journey. Click that subscribe button. There's a little bell that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Also, if you would like to join me on my Livia's Romantic Home Facebook group page, all you have to do is request to join. I'll approve that request, and you guys can start posting your home photos and just decor whatever you guys like to put over there that is fun and uplifting i would love to see what you guys are up to if you guys want to see some behind the scenes of my little fun and crazy crafty life i do post on my Livy's romantic home instagram story as well as my instagram so i love having fun over there and looking what you guys are up to over there as well so thank you guys again i'm hugging you all so tight i hope you have the most gorgeous beautiful blessed day Again, I love you guys. You are truly the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until the next time, I have so many more videos planned for you, so stay tuned. I love you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Come out here to say.